Hey everybody, my name is Alejandro and I'm the product manager for guides here at Pendo. And I'm excited to give you a, a quick rundown on the guides product newest edition, and that is embedded content. Um, In-app guides are widely recognized as the best way today to engage users, but it's become kind of table stakes, right? Like everybody comes to expect guides, everyone is offering them their baseline. Um, you kind of have to offer them if you want to have a, a serious solution in the market right now. But a lot of the times what we see is that um, guides can be kind of intrusive, right? Like we've all been using the internet for a while. Um, sometimes we have, we see a pop-up and we are almost, you know, programmed to just close it out. Even if the information within it is relevant, a lot of the times when we log into an application, we probably have a task that we want to complete. Um, and even if the information there makes sense to me and is relevant to what I'm trying to achieve, there's something I got to do, right? Like I'll, I'll figure it out later. Um, we ran a lot of data internally with how you, our customers are engaging with the guides that we put out. And what we're seeing is that most of the time badges, um, badge activated guides are more effective, right? Like they're in context, they're not intrusive. I know what they are. If I see a little in, a information bubble or a little um, question mark, I know that that's there to help me. However, you still have to engage with it. You still have to hover over it or you still have to click it. And that gap between demanding your attention and requiring, um, requiring you to interact with a badge, that space in between is why we build embedded content. Because embedded content is, is a no-code way to update your product's user interface. It, it's a vehicle to deliver product personalization. And what it does is display the information that you want to display without being intrusive, without drawing out your attention, without making you focus on something you're frankly not worried about right now. And the best part you don't even know it's a guide. It just looks like a native part of your product, of your application. And we love it because there are so many ways to use embedded content. We've already seen customers and our internal team use it as a marketing tool um, to share resources, to share product announcement. Um, we've seen customers use it to drive product-led growth. We've seen uh, the ubiquitous banner use case at the top. We've see, it really is so flexible and it allows you to open up a completely new way to communicate to your users and a completely new way to personalize your product. So talk can only take you so far. Let me show you a few of the things that we have done um, so to start jogging your, uh, your imagination, to start thinking, to start getting you to think what uh, these things can really, really do. Um, and you'll see that we have some examples in Pendo. We have some example in our demo applications, but I think most exciting, we have also an example on a third party app like Salesforce. So let's just dive in. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. Okay. So here is actually an example inside of Pendo with the designer open. If you didn't know what we were doing, you'd say, oh, okay, so where's the guide? It's actually right here. This is embedded content. You can see uh, if you ignore the border here, it looks indistinguishable from the other two. These are built with code. This one isn't, this one is a guide. So I can make changes and you'll see that those changes happen live. Um, embedded content is, um, is there. It just looks like a regular part of your product. It is responsive. To, to your page, depending on the container that it's targeted to. So everything that you're expecting from a, a part of your application or a widget um, inside of your application can be accomplished with embedded content. And the beauty of it is that you can segment it. So for example, this is for the Pendo administra a administration certification. If you're already a Pendo admin, you're not gonna see there. It doesn't make sense, you're already an admin, why would you? So that gets replaced with something else. Um, let's see another example that our that we have built in our own demo environment, uh, in our Acme CRM environment. This area here is embedded content as well. And it has a link that launches a, a URL. Any button that you that you 
can build with a guide, you can build with embedded content. So you could launch another guide from embedded content. You could launch a URL. In fact, if you have multi-step embedded content, it serves as a carousel. So a lot of new use cases that we're unlocking with this new way to deliver uh, messaging in your application. Finally, here's a great example uh, inside of Salesforce. Uh, we got Jake here on the left, handsome as always. And here on the right, we have another piece of embedded content that actually displays based on what stage this opportunity is in. So Pendo is smart enough to say, okay, this is discovery opportunity. Let's make sure to show the right messaging. So we are super excited about this new functionality. Uh, you'll see it more and more. We're going to start blitzing um, with, with some marketing content out there um, and really giving you some of the use cases and sharing the art of the possible with this feature um, so that once you get into the beta, you can hit the ground running and start publishing guides. Thank you so much. It has been a pleasure. Again, my name is Alejandro and see you out there.